I'm Amy Anzell, the founder and creator of The Hollywood Browser. Today I'm here to tell you a bit more about The Hollywood Browser, which is an eyebrow shaper, hair removal tool, and a dermaplaning tool. A lot of people don't know much about dermaplaning, so I'm going to tell you a bit more about that as well and how to get the best results using your Hollywood Browser. So how do you use The Hollywood Browser? The Hollywood Browser is so simple and easy to use. You simply open the Hollywood Browser, just like that, and you're going to be using it on clean, dry skin. So for the moment, I'm just going to show you the technique on my arm. Later, I'll use it on my face. So you simply open it like I said, and you're not using it at a 90 degree angle or flat, so not like this, not like this. Literally at a 45 degree angle, and then you use short, light, feathery strokes. It's like combing the skin. The shorter the strokes, the better. And what you're gonna see immediately is the hair and the dead skin cells are gonna fly right off the skin, leaving you with smooth, bright, youthful looking skin. So what is dermaplaning? Dermaplaning is a form of exfoliation that not only removes this top layer of dead, dull skin, but also the peach fuzz or the vellus hair, that baby fine hair. Once all that's removed, your makeup is going to have a flawless finish and your skincare is going to penetrate the skin beautifully and more effectively. It's best to use the Hollywood browser on clean, dry skin. So remove any makeup and also I recommend using a toner or astringent to remove any oily residue. So I've now taken off my makeup, clean, dry skin. I've also used astringent so there's no oily residue and I'm ready to start browsing or dermaplaning. So here we go. You simply open the browser, hold the skin taut, just like this, and you're gonna hold the browser at a 45 degree angle and simply work your way down using short, light, feathery strokes. You're gonna see the hair, the dead skin cells, the built up debris fly right off the skin. And that's it, you have a beautiful, smooth finish. You clean off the edge of your browser with a lovely microfiber puff or a tissue and you work your way down the other side, starting up near the ear and you're gonna tap, 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 just like this. Short, light, feathery strokes. Work your way down and you're gonna see the hair, dead skin cells, built up debris fly off. And then you can work your way towards the chin area if you'd like, upper lip area, Hold the skin taut by pulling your lip around your front teeth. And you have a beautiful, smooth, flawless finish. Beautiful, bright, radiant skin. I'm now going to use the browser to shape my brows. I simply open the browser, hold my skin taut, and I use the precision tip of the browser to remove the hairs one by one below the brow and then I use the edge above the brow, just like this, short light feathery strokes. And then I use the browser vertically between the brows. Once again, the other side, below the brow, above the brow, and I'm done. Beautiful, professionally shaped brows. The number one question I get asked is, will my hair grow back? thicker and darker and coarser? And the answer is absolutely not. The hair grows back exactly the same as it was before. So if you have that fine vellus peach fuzz, it grows back as fine vellus peach fuzz. If you have thick coarse hair and you've removed that, it grows back just the same, thick coarse hair. But you can't change the physiology of the hair by removing it from the surface with the Hollywood browser. The Hollywood Browser is completely safe to use. There's no way you can hurt yourself or damage your skin. Why? Because there are safety guards on both sides of the edge. So as you can see, there's no way you can cut yourself. Where can I use the Hollywood Browser? You can use the Hollywood Browser anywhere you have unwanted hair. You can shape the eyebrows, remove the peach fuzz, upper lip hair, chin hair, it could be fine hair, coarse hair, doesn't matter, arm hair, bikini hair, toe hair, 
Like I said, anywhere you have unwanted hair, you can use it there. And those that have sensitive skin like myself, you can use it too, and you won't break out in redness or bumps. Where shouldn't I use the browser? You can use the browser anywhere you have unwanted hair. Just stay away from moles, pimples, scabs, or any other raised areas. How to best care for my Hollywood browser. When using the Hollywood browser, I recommend using a microfiber puff to clean the edge. So throughout your treatment, you're gonna be wiping off the hair and the dead skin cells and the built up debris so you have a clean edge to work with. Or simply, you can use a tissue or a cloth to remove all that gunk from the edge. Just like that, no need to use any soap or water, done. How long will my Hollywood browser last? Each browser should last you about two to three months. Over time, you'll notice the hair just doesn't come off as easily. That's when you know it's time to get rid of your browser and get a new one.